right, parent advisor and viewer warning, the video contains explicit content. Okay. Oh, it Rock does. Goodbye, Damn. Baby Damn, I got that. He's braces bed. and everything. Right now you are sleeping, and soon you'll be dead. Oh, I leave quite an impression. Five feet to be exact. All right, so that would make, if that's the case, that would make sense because her album is called Sweet and, I said sweet and, I would say sweet and sour. Isn't it called Short and Sweet? I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's called Short and Sweet, so it's kind of like a nod to your petite stature. Basically, I don't know how tall she is though, but she do look short. She might be five feet or below her, or lower than five feet. But it's a playful, self-aware title that perfectly, it, it captures her personality and the idea that, you know, good things come in small packages, if that makes sense. Yeah, I might be reaching. You're wondering why I have his clothes when missing my body's where they're at. Now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me. One degree of separation. They got Jenny Ortega in this. That's her name, right? Jenny Ortega? And she came out with a shotgun, too. But hold on. Bring it back. Because she said, now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me. So it's like, even though you're physically gone, there's still a haunting presence, you know? And it's like your essence, your memory is so strong that it makes it feel like you're still there with that person. And then she said, uh, one degree of separation. And I think she just basically wanted to play off the concept of the six degrees of separation, which... I think is, correct me if I'm wrong, is when there's two people on earth that are connected by like these fewer social links, but it's much closer than you think, if that makes sense. So when she says one degree separation, the connection between them is much closer, almost direct. So yeah, and it's, it's almost like the connection is more personal, it's, it's, it's almost more intimate because it's like, it lets you know that you're just one step away from each other in like your social circle, if that makes sense. But Jenny Ortega with this shotgun is crazy. One degree of separation I put your back together And if that's true You'll just have to taste me When he's kissing you If you want forever I bet you do Just know you'll taste me too Never am I Never Never did that just happen Never Hold on, hold on. Listen, it's, 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 it's a lot going on right now. It's, it's way too much going on right now. I don't know if Sabrina wanted to just capture like a mixed theme of, um yeah, just a mix of things. I think she wanted to add love, betrayal, um and like lingering traces of like past relationships. Because you have these two trying to basically kill each other. Or at least they, they yeah, they tried to kill each other. Even though Sabrina falling off the building with a shotgun and landing on a picket fence, like that, that, that should have been the end of her. Honest, that should have been the end of her. Honestly, come on. There's no way she was, she was supposed to survive that. There's no way. But I think it's, I think what she wanted to do is give us like a playful but yet sharp sense of irony that you know kind of showcases the complexities of modern romance, if that makes sense. So yeah, but this is crazy right here. Hurt 
trip back together And if that's true You'll just have to tease me When he's kissing you the ultimate plot twist i did not even expect that i didn't see that coming but now that she said it when she said you'll just have to taste me when he's kissing you bro it's letting you know like sure you guys may be back together but guess what you're not getting rid of me that easily you know so it's like it's like this is all about like leaving your mark you know leaving your lasting mark you know it's like a lingering presence that's impossible to share so it's like every kiss that he gives her is basically a hint of you of sabrina and there's no escaping Lots of trauma. Lots of Very trauma. Insecure. Very insecure. <laughs> Very insecure. <laughs> you killed me. She said, you'll just have to taste me. Okay, that's the, that's that's it. But she said, you'll just have to taste me too. So that's the final twist. You're not just an afterthought, you know? It's like you're part of the story now, whether you like it or not. So it's like saying, you can try to move on, but I'm always going to be a part of you. Or this. And I think it goes back to what I was saying earlier. It kind of seals the deal on making it clear that you're left you're left with this undeniable mark. One that's, I guess, impossible to erase. But, listen, it's Friday. Y'all know everybody drops on Friday. So, Sabrina, like, that's this is what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace, we out, we go.